What's good? What's poppin'? What's crackin'? What's percolating? What's really good? In the hood, it is your man Theo Butler, and welcome to a, my wife is probably upset with me right now because this is actually the third damn time I'm doing this video. Episode I ain't saying I'm just saying with the wrong combination. Man, you <laughs> Before we begin, like, share, subscribe. If you like, leave a comment. If you don't like, leave a constructive comment. Why? Because if you know me, grow me, share the camera. Why is this the third time I'm doing this video? Because I ain't like the way the first two sounded. My, my wife shouldn't have to deal with that, but. She's in the recording studio, so this is where we at. Um, Y'all see the title, though. Uncomfortable versus aggravating. And wh why did I choose that title? First of all, I've been on some lives. Um, shout out to the Rock With Me Nation. Shout out to my fellow YouTubers and everything like that. Thank y'all so much for um, basically feeling like what I have to say is worth listening to. Um, that's that's humble. So I've, been, I've had the honor of being invited to do some lives. And I understand, you know, when you're on these lives and you're dealing with more than one person, you got to be, you got to be able to get along, you know, interact with everybody. But I pride myself on, on, on standing, I don't want to say 10 toes down, but I pride myself in, in, in having the knowledge that I have to be able to go out in question inaccuracies when when not when i feel but when something is said erroneously let's check it because whether we feel like we are or not to a degree when we're in here reviewing these comic books reviewing these movies talking about characters talking about actors and actresses to a degree while we don't claim the title to a degree we're reporting news Thus, we're journalists. The problem is, is that we're doing stuff that journalists do with no journalistic integrity whatsoever. I.e., we won't go research like journalists have to do. There's no such thing as investigating reporting. It's just, I got a rumor. I want to be first. I need these clicks and these likes. So let me be the first one to report it. I don't get down like that. I, I, I would really just rather wait. I believe in being actual. I don't care about being wrong. I don't care about being right. I want to be accurate. I want you to be able to take the information that you take from here. And based on everybody that's involved with the Rock With Me Nation, because I have people like D. Steezel, uh, Ashura, the Kamoyo Kid, and um, Black Claw that's going to let me know. Top G1 is going to let me know. See, I just want these names. I was going to let me know. Mr. Ray Smith, Grand Matter. Going to let me know. Hey, Theo, this is what this is. And I appreciate that. I'm humbled by that. Honored by that. Because if I'm the voice that people are going to rock with, right, then it's important that I take their voices into consideration and heed what they have to say so that I can make sure I'm on point. And I, I'm humble to be able to do that on behalf of those that entrust that with me uh, entrust that into me I'm grateful for the knowledge that you bestow upon me I don't take it for granted and when I say I don't take it for granted I do what too many of us refuse to do in life let alone with the Black Panther character IP, T'Challa, Chadwick Bozeman, the Bozeman family somebody give me something I go back and check I got to go back and check because even though they told it to me, guess who you're going to hear it from? Me. So I got to go do my due diligence before I just come out here and speak it. Right? Right. Uncomfortable versus aggravating. So when somebody comes out and they make a statement that Chadwick Boseman is T'Challa, my question then is, who is your favorite actor? Who's your favorite character? Now, because the people that I'm talking to, nine times out of ten, I'm older than they are, I know how many times they've seen their character live action. It makes them a hypocrite in my eyes. Because at not one point in time has that person ever said, oh, don't recast my character. While telling you what you should get with your character. 
That's an effed up situation because I just had a conversation with somebody. Spider-Man is his favorite character. He gets to watch Spider-Man, share Spider-Man with his daughter. He doesn't feel that T'Challa should be recast. But yet he can't tell you anything about Chad Rebost. Honestly, when people say T'Challa shouldn't be recast because he's had a complete story arc, I get aggravated. And when I get aggravated, I make people uncomfortable because I challenge the BS. Someone said that T'Challa has had a complete story arc in the MCU. Captain America's Civil War runtime was 147 minutes. T'Challa's screen time was 11 minutes and 30 seconds. Avengers Infinity War was 149 minutes. T'Challa's screen time was 3 minutes and 30 seconds. Avengers Endgame was 181 minutes. T'Challa's screen time was 1 minute and 45 seconds. Black Panther was 134 minutes. That's an hour and a half plus four minutes. T'Challa's screen time was 47 minutes and 39 seconds. That's a story arc. That's a complete story arc. See, anti recasters would tell you that he's had a complete story arc, but you really finna compare that to what? You really finna compare his screen time to any of the big three? Really? This is when I make anti recasters uncomfortable. Because you can't argue with that. This is when I get aggravated because I'm like, I shouldn't have had to even go look at that. Just you being a person, cognitive reasoning, critical thinking, you should have been able to put that together your damn self. But no, because you want to be out here bumping your damn gums, not taking anybody else into consideration, claiming you understand. You don't understand because you don't even know. You don't know because you don't care. That's when I get aggravated. I'm going to make you uncomfortable because I know that character's screen time pales in comparison to your favorite character's screen time. This is when I get aggravated because I'm looking at anti-recasters and I know ain't now damn, damn, damn one of y'all done that damn research. You can't even be care, you can't even care to be bothered to learn Zosa. Learn Swahili. The same two languages that the dudes you claim to love said they needed to learn because they were getting ready to introduce European languages. You can't even be bothered to learn that. You can't even be bothered as a way of honoring that late actor to learn the damn languages he learned his damn self to bring the damn character to screen with some damn authenticity. But you love the actor. No. You don't love the actor. This is the shame of it all. And this is me putting my race, my ethnicity, my culture on blast. You just want to be seen. You just want to be associated with greatness. You don't want to go out there and earn it on your own. You can't even be bothered to learn it on your own. You finna show up to the movie theaters on November the 11th and you're not going to be able to say anything in the language in which T'Challa speaks. You're going to show up in the movie theaters on November the 11th and you're not even embracing the culture in which you call yourself adapting when you go to the damn movie theater. And it's effed up because way too many of you did that in the first damn movie.
Nobody that's an anti recancer can tell you what I told you about Chad Reposa. They can't be bothered. Anything that I tell you, anything they say to you is going to be as a, distra a distraction. I didn't need a trailer to make me feel the way that I feel. I didn't need a trailer from Black Panther 2 to tell you what you needed to do with your funds instead of going to go see the movie on November the 11th. Ever since Anthony Mackie made his statement, ever since I heard what Chadwick Boseman said at the Sirius XM radio, ever since I listened to what he had to say during the commencement speech at Howard, my way of honoring Chadwick Boseman has been to ensure that we have more black actors and actresses. Because let Anthony Mackey tell it, no one can fill Chadwick Boseman's shoes. Who would want to? That's the wrong question, Anthony. The question you should have asked was, would Chadwick want somebody to fill his shoes? Yes, he would. He would want somebody to fill your shoes too. I would want somebody to fill my shoes. See, that's how we grow wealth in our culture. Wealth within our race. Wealth within our ethnicity. Prime example, Baby Boy Driver. Jamie Foxx was in that movie. I don't know who that young man's name is, but I know Hollywood gave him an opportunity to make some money. They gave an original role, gave him an opportunity to make some money. See, Anthony, you know those things don't persist for us. So when we got roles like this off the table, you know it's irresponsible to take black roles off the table, Anthony. You should know that. Actually, Anthony, when I think about it, the fact that somebody gave you Steve Rogers' role and you gave your role to somebody else, that's irony in and of itself. Because you would prevent somebody from having that same opportunity. You got nephews, Anthony. Yes, I'm going to make you uncomfortable. Your nephews deserve to be actors. Your nephews deserve to take on any fictional role that they take on. Any real life role. You know what, Anthony? Should one of your actors, should one of your nephews choose to become an actor and they redo the movie Eight Mile? You know what? One of your nephews should play Clarence. You know Clarence. Who has two good parents? Yeah. It's a role, Anthony. You got how in the Hollywood smoke. You got money? You finna you bought your studio and everything like that? I'm 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 gonna be looking to see what you're gonna do with it. Or who you finna hire? Aggravated. That's what I get. Aggravated. And I make them uncomfortable. Thunderbolt Ross. Never talked about it. Damn, 